In this video, we will continue entering a new patient record. We will be going over the injury mechanism category. Once you have entered your chief complaint information and saved it, you will continue to the next category, injury mechanism. Under injury mechanism, we have divided injuries into traffic injury and non-traffic injury. Our first traffic injury category corresponds to motor vehicle collision. In this element, you will have a drop-down menu where you'll be able to select if the injury mechanism was a motor vehicle collision or not. No, unspecified, and yes are the options. For non-traffic injury mechanisms, we have injuries by firearm. In injuries by firearm, you will be able to select from a drop-down menu. In this section, you will also be allowed to select multiple injuries by firearm. Select handgun and add it. If you had an option of, of being shot by rifle or shotgun and larger firearm as well, you would select that and add it as well. You can easily delete it if you made a mistake. Our next element corresponds to stabbing and lacerations. Here you will also have a drop down menu that will allow you to add more than one option. Please keep in mind to add the element you will always have to select the green plus button and to delete it you will select the X. Our other injury mechanism is a burn injury. In this section you will have to select the burn grade that being first, second, third, or if it's unknown or unspecified, you will select unspecified. Let's select first. In addition to the burn grade, you will have to select the burn type. So here you will have a drop down menu with different types of burns. Once you have selected both burn grade and burn type, you must hit on the plus button to add it. Keep in mind that this section also allows you to add more than one burn injury. Our next element is poisoning. You will choose an option from the drop down menu regarding the type of poisoning that the patient has suffered. You have several options here. Our next element is falls. This identifies whether if the mechanism was due to a fall. In this section, you, should, you can choose from a drop down menu being no, unspecified, not available, and yes. Our next element is apparent intent. You will select the intent. If it was assault, intentional self-harm, or suicide, unintentional, or unspecified. This also allows you to add more than one option. We have a section with other mechanisms of injury if they were not previously classified. You will be allowed to choose one from other mechanisms. Please keep in mind to save your information once you have finished entering all the data in the category. This concludes this video. Please continue to our next video.